Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to the channel. We are here to do some PlayStation VR 2 news. We're gonna talk about Formula One 2023 game, also a bit more about Gran Turismo 7 and its update because there is much more than just new cars and new track variation. Uh, much, much more to it. Also, we're gonna talk about E3 and some other bits and bobs. So, let's get started. Let's get small. <gasps> Okay, so let's begin from, uh, maybe let's start from E3, because why not? Uh, where, where is it? It's gone. Where is, where is my E3? Okay, here. So, uh, this is coming from E3 uh, Twitter account, and they say news on E3 2023. From the source, without getting into the details, basically they say Read Pop and the Entertainment Software Association, ESA, have announced that both the digital and the physical events for E3 2023 are cancelled. No explanation why, but here we got uh, some <laughs> game fest in comment section, which is quite funny. So uh, what's happened with E3? Well, everyone pulled out of it. Sony, Nintendo, nobody. Well, Nintendo has been coming for a while. Ubisoft lately, and basically, uh, you know, this event. I don't know, I remember in past when I was a kid, E3 was the event for all the big companies to get together and show us some awesome games. And I think since they opened it for the public as well, it's kind of lost its meaning. It used to be an event where, where the big things used to happen, uh, let's say when the deal is being made. And that's not, not on anymore. Uh, and also it didn't kind of evolve, it just become very stale, let's say. I think companies couldn't be bothered to go as well because half a time they did presentation <laughs> and they used to become a meme. But Summer Game Fest here, they taking over now and uh, they uh, they got down there into replies to the E3. But anyway, uh, see what's next in the video games when Summer Game Fest go, last, uh, go live and that will be first day, June 8th, noon Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Free live stream from YouTube Theater. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's gonna be something uh, what you want and also, oh, Grella here is, no, yeah, who to follow. Uh, the Game Awards as well by George Kinley, if I'm saying his name right. So yeah, E3 sadly, no more. Is it a shame? I don't know. Uh, I stopped uh, caring about it that much. It used to be cool to like try to follow it and find some VR titles always hidden somewhere. Sony always used to like announce few uh, now and then, and then uh, comment section was like, why are you talking about VR at E3? But then it's always used to be fun to try to find some titles during the E3 because they always was somewhere scattered around in the presentations. But anyway, that is not happening. So what I'm gonna talk about now is the next story, uh, and this is Charles Leclerc, Instagram. Uh, Charles Leclerc, uh, Ferrari's Formula One driver, in case you don't know, uh, you might think in why? Why you going here to his Instagram and watching, it, by the way, nice Ferrari over here, wow. That's life, eh? So anyway, he posted those things here. He's standing here, even got microphone attached. And basically what he said, no, it's nothing but in replies, he said, I like the sweater and I like the car. More to come at Electronic Arts Sports F1. So looks like he's doing some kind of promo for F1 game since he's tagging uh, EA Sports. And I want to talk about it because of course F1 game 2023 will support virtual reality. Now, this is from the Steam page, so we know already that it's definitely supporting it. The last year implementation of VR was kind of not great, but it was only on Steam. It didn't happen on PSVR 1 because of course it couldn't. But uh, when it's asked, uh, when they was asked about PSVR 2 version, they basically said, never say never, we cannot talk about it. So when they're saying that, you know, like we cannot talk about it or, you know, maybe never say never, it's usually happening. Of course, nothing officially confirmed, but my good feeling tells me that PSVR, PS uh, version of F123 should get VR mode, especially that Gran Turismo proved that it can be done in a very nice manner without uh, too much compromise now in VR thanks to the eye tracking for weighted rendering and good optimization. F1 games always are good optimized, at least on consoles, I don't know on PC. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so it's uh, so just wanted to tell you some announcement should be coming soon. And once I get this announcement, of course, right away, I will be letting you know in my daily news videos. 
Now speaking about, you know what, before we speak about Creed, let's move into Gran Turismo 7. So here we are on the GT Planet website uh, and this is the update 131, which I checked out yesterday. Sadly, I had to play it with dual sense controller because uh, my steering wheel, my new YouTube room is not ready yet and I couldn't just set up steering wheel. It's, it's, it involves me to move the whole living room around basically. But anyway, so uh, very soon my YouTube room should be ready, my new one. Anyway, Gran Turismo 7 update 131 details. 120 support, VRR, new cars, events, tracks, layouts, physics changes and more. There's a lot going on. So, of course, we know we've had new cars, those five. Uh, of those new vehicles, the both Porsches are available, will be available, well, they are now, sorry, uh, in the legendary cars dealership. I like those Porsches. They got new track layouts and also the sprint uh, layout holds the standard Nürburgring GP circuit short by adding a sharp right harping connecting to the back half of the circuit just after turn 4. The endurance layout appears to introduce the same harpin on the GP circuit in addition to the full loop of the Nürburgring. Okay, that's how I'm saying it. Now, uh, so... We've got some new events to take advantage of those layouts. New races events have been added. Uh, towards Silco, so we got Japanese uh, four uh, wheel drive challenge 600, World Touring Car 800, Kyoto Drive in Park Porsche Coupe, and Tokyo Express or Japanese four wheel drive challenge 600. Uh, the change, uh, settings changes have also been applied to World Touring Car 600 race at Tokyo Express, and you can now access the race shop when using a Silco meeting. So 120 support and VRR is there. I don't need to talk about that. New photoscapes to celebrate the spring season in the uh, Nover Hampshire, a special feature of Sherry Blossom. Photos or Cherry Blossom? How you saying this? Cherry? Cherry? Uh, photoscapes location have been added, including a cafe and coffee shop. And speaking about cafe, several new changes coming to GT Cafe, including new menu books. Menu books is your, uh, you know, the uh, main, let's say, story of the game. But also uh, there was some bonus books after completing the game and now they add in more. Uh, focused on Toyota family cars, clearly a reference to the Toyota Alphard and the Ford GT. Nice. Additional conversation have been added with car designers and the usual uh, cast of uh, cafe characters. So you can discuss the vehicles you currently drive in the game. Looking forward to doing new menu box. They changed suspension physics as well. Um, uh, so uh, basically cars feel different to drive. According to the patch notes, the changes are designed to improve the stability of the car orientation uh, during uh, braking and the traction during acceleration. Adjustments been made to suspension damping characteristic to further improve the stability of cars when driving bumps and curbs. Tire model gone change uh, with the aquaplaning effect on road surfaces. Aerodynamics got changed. Uh, aero uh, changes have been made uh, to how uh, aerodynamics uh, affects impact car with special attention to open wheeled formula cars. This could be in preparation for the new Super Formula SF23 car sties for GT7 back in January and yesterday they accidentally revealed them and they come in next month. So you get new Super Formula cars and physics with them. Nice. Anti-lag system in turbocharged engine anti-lag system wall to keep the engine pressurized with boost. But this could have resulted in the engine RPM levels rising too high at idle in GT7. Polyphony Digital has now introduced a limiter to keep RPMs from increasing too much while the car is stopped. Performance was the default suspension and aerodynamic settings on race cars and certain road cars have been adjusted by Polyphony Digital. This has resulted in performance post adjustments of various cars in the game. Now this is, I told you I played the game yesterday, checked it out with DualSense. Uh, and yes, I did feel difference. Considering the vast majority of Gran Turismo 7 players are using the DualSense controller, this is a big one. The steering algorithm, which interrupts the controller's stick or directional input buttons, has been adjusted and improved. Additional changes to the force feedback, feedback delivered through the wireless controller have also been made. Driver assist, so changes to that, uh, changes to online lobby, in and to the sport mode. Legendary car, price adjustment, so um, basically it was announced last year, Gran Turismo has partnered with Haggerty to bring dynamic pricing to GT7 legendary car dealerships. The next price revision for cars has been announced to arrive around June 2023. 
circuits, uh, all circuits experience a licenses have had their time of the day settings change along with new demonstration apps. As a result, all liking boards will be resetted. Other changes, there's a lot of them. So yeah, very nice big patch, uh, awesome stuff for Gran Turismo 7 and next month update will be super formula cars, which is pretty great. Okay, moving on to the next story, I want to talk a bit about Creed Rise to Glory Championship Edition. So basically what's happening here is uh, the developer on PlayStation blog described what they added to the game and what improved. They added endurance mode to pull no punches, want to take a step further and test your boxing skills to the limit. That's where the endurance mode comes in, uh, making its debut on PSVR 2 by removing the virtual stamina system. Your character only gets tires when you tired, resulting in a more intense and realistic bout, which is very nice. Further tailor your experience in fighting setting to scale your opponent's difficulty by adjusting their health and damage modifiers. Practice your chops in rookie mode or scale up to pro to lock horns with uh, boxers of all calibers. The fight is yours to own. I'm glad. I'm glad that they've done that. No stamina. You can remove it, which is nice. You've got fitness mode, so you can do yourself a workout. Give them the one to with the addition of fitness mode for either calorie sparring or time sparring. Fitness goals are unique to everyone, so we created settings that allow you to make personal calorie or time targets and build a training regimen that best fits your needs. We are also included the option to bake in test periods to trigger uh, to trigger as often and as long as you prefer. Now, this is cool, player versus player mode. We don't take the championship edition part of the title lightly, which we, which why we optimize PvP mode in our The Master with new and improved matchmaking algorithm. Good to hear because the old algorithm, I never found a match, even though I don't play much online. I, I tried few times, didn't happen. Take the championship title. So basically what they say is you can play with Metap Quest 2 crossplay. Uh, and you've got new arenas and characters beyond the, all those new improvement modes we bought to Championship Edition. We have included three new arenas, eight new characters and a custom system with nearly 100 looks sure to shake up the crowd. For the Deluxe Edition, receive 22 additional glow costumes. Yeah, so that's your Creed Rise to Gnoli. A lot of new stuff added. 1999 if you already own it for the upgrade. 39.99 for the standard edition and 49.99 for the deluxe edition. Okay, that's it for now. Big, big shout out to all the patrons. They're scrolling down there in the background. I super appreciate your support. Thank you very much for all the latest PlayStation VR 2 news. Stay tuned to the channel. As soon as I got something, I will let you know. And for now, that's it. Bye, 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 bye.